This tutorial will explain how to handle, measure, and mix two-part samples of epoxies and urethanes from EFI polymers. For this video, we will be using EFI polymers material 20206 and 50013. First, let's make sure you have all the necessary equipment. The two-part epoxy or urethane system that you will be mixing, the technical data sheet and MSDS, a scale that measures in grams or ounces, at least two mixing or measuring cups, mixing sticks or spatula, and rags or paper towels for cleanup. Additionally, you will need the necessary safety equipment, including safety glasses and chemical resistant gloves. You'll want to estimate the amount of material you'll need to fill your part. Make sure to include a little excess material to account for spillage and waste left in your cup. This material mixes at a ratio of 100 parts of 20206 and 16 parts of 50013. To calculate how much material to add, let's convert this number to a percentage of the whole. The 20206 is 100 out of 116 total units. That gives us a percentage of 86.2. The 50013 is 16 out of 116 units. That gives us a percentage of 13.8. Now let's calculate the amount of material to add. For the purpose of this video, we will be using the amount 425 grams. 86.2% of 425 grams gives us 366.4 grams of 20206. 13.8% of 425 grams gives us 58.6 grams of 50013. It is important to remember when you are measuring this material that you stay within plus or minus 5% of the calculated ratio. Place your mixing cup on your scale and press tear to set the scale to zero. You're ready to begin pouring material. After opening your containers, slowly and carefully add part A to your cup. Tear the scale to zero again and add part B. Remember, when measuring out these materials, that you need to stay within 5% of the calculated mix ratio. Mix the materials for one minute, being sure to scrape the sides and bottom. Next, pour this material into a second cup. This ensures that no unmixed material trapped in the corners or sides of the cup will be added to your part. Continue mixing for another full minute. Your material is now properly mixed and ready to be poured.